Hi there, uh, this video is going to show you how to create a dummy variable in IBM SPSS. Um, and a dummy variable is simply any variable that's coded as 0, 1 for the presence or the absence of a trait or a characteristic. And the reason we do this is if we have categorical data, such as survey questions that have a Likert scale response, such as strongly agree, agree neutral, disagree, strongly disagree, uh, we can't directly use a variable like that in a correlation analysis or a regression. And by converting it to a dummy variable, we come up with a way where we can actually enter those variables into a correlation or a regression. So that's why we are doing this. And I've got the general social survey from the 2021 open here. You can download that from the National Opinion Research Center. Uh, and I want to recode this variable, afraid to walk at night in the neighborhood. And if you click on the values, you'll see this actually is a dummy variable, but we still need to change something because uh, you see how it says 1 is yes and 2 is no. Well, we want this to still be 1 is yes. That means they're afraid to walk at night, but then we want no to be 0 uh, because any dummy variable has to be coded 0, 1 for presence or absence. Uh, so the 2 just doesn't work here. All right, so the way we do that is we go over here. Uh, first make a note, the variable name is fear. And we're going to transform recode into different variables and uh, display the variable names and sort alphabetically is the easiest way to get to the variable of interest. I'll scroll down to fear. Okay, bring it over. And I will call the new one fear dummy. Uh, that sounds kind of insulting, I know, but <laughs> it doesn't mean dummy in a bad way. I'm not sure actually where that terminology comes from. And we'll label this dummy variable for fear. Okay, then we click change. Now we need to specify the old and new values. So remember that we want to keep 1 as a 1 in the new variable, but the 2 has to become 0. Okay, so old value 2, new value 0, add it. And then uh, anything else, system or user missing, we're going to copy the old values and continue. And then we're ready to click OK. And there we go. Nothing really spectacular happens. This is actually the syntax. If we wanted to open a syntax editor, we could just type that, and it would accomplish the same goal of creating this new variable. And if you go over to the variable view of the data file and scroll down to the bottom, you should see our new one. There it is. And if you double click the number next to that, you should see a bunch of zeros and ones. Okay. So the nice thing about that is now we can use that variable in a correlation or regression analysis. For instance, let's say I want to correlate fear, the fear dummy variable. Okay, this is all alphabetical. So let's find fear dummy. Uh, reset this. I had something else going on from before. There we go. Big file. Okay. And then we'll see if that correlates with age. You know, so do older people tend to have more fear of walking at night alone in their neighborhood? And uh, click OK. There we go. Uh, actually, against uh, expectations, it's actually negative. So that means as age increases, uh, the level of fear goes down. Uh, it is a rather weak, but it is statistically significant relationship. So that's just to illustrate uh, the value of, of why we made this dummy variable. All right, thank you.